Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to a game called Brotato. I'm Zero. This is Brotato. We should just throw ourselves in there. I should play this quite a bit. Um, so basically it's just like a ordinary roguelike. It's very simply made, but it's a good simply made if you get what I mean. Makes this quite a interesting game. Hmm, I've got more range, attack speed. I I, I get big enough for some luck. Bro, the music is fucking sick. What the hell is this? I usually play without music. I'll take myself some crit. Uh, gambling. There we go. Take some luck. Fuck that damage. Could be alright. I hope. Like some crap. Yeah, so basically this is in my this part is a bit dirty. There we go. This is basically how it goes. Kill shit, you level up, you get some upgrades, you buy some stuff from the shop, then I wait 20, you fight some big ass boss, and if you beat it, you win. Or if you just run out the timer, which I, I thought that would mean you lost, but no. You don't actually have to kill the boss. Which is a system I like because if you physically, in my case right there, I had a person that could not attack, I just exploded when I took damage and that was my only way of dealing damage. And I realized there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to kill this boss and I was like, ah, oh, I lost. No, you don't actually have to kill him for some reason. Almost bought engineering there. That's probably been very bad. I don't use any form of turrets. Alright, still pretty easy. I think it's around 8 big guys come around and then around 11 you get some like bony fuckers. One thing that's also really good is even if you don't pick up the green, you don't actually lose it. You keep it for the next round. That's why you get 2x of some things and normal from others. I first when I started playing was like, oh man, it's gotta be like a luck thing, right? That's based on your luck. But no, he has nothing to do with that. Melee damage, no thank you. Harvesting, okay, fuck it, because it's legendary, I take it. What harvesting does is you get extra XP uh, at the end of each wave. Alright. What's <laughs> six fucking SMGs around me, alright. 
I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense with this character because he's like spidery. So it makes sense if he has extra like arms. But the others, when you're just levitating six sheets around, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Then I then then again, like most games, really, we're not made to make sense. I don't know what it is with this game that I'm just hooked on. It's, it's so simple. Like, I who actually code games and around like that. Currently studying with that, so I'm coding a bit of few games. And I coded a game with that is almost like this. Obviously, a, we are different sprites, aka the things you see. And the mechanics were a lot different to this game. But overall, it was just a run and gun like overview aim like it's but it's so simple it's so easy to make but it's so good at the same time sometimes the simple is just it's just the best I really need to get some more range damage. I'm starting to struggle. Yeah, take some extra health, take some more crit. No gun damage. Okay, take more crit then. Ah, take. Fun. Combine, there we go. Take a machine gun. My strat in this game is basically just you can't get overrun if everything dies. And that's kind of just how I do this. Just kill everything and you'll be fine. Oh, I collected 20,000 materials. There we go. Just trying not to get hit. I really need more damage. Got another box. Yeah, take that. Don't want that. Take more damage, even though it's like literally no damage. Range. Some more damage. Damage, damage, piggy bank. There we go. <laughs> So what the pink bank does, I think it's 20% maybe of what you have when uh, you start the next wave, you gain in bonus. So like if you have 100 materials, you're going to get 20, etc, etc. Ah, we took some hits there. I've got nothing into armor, so anything later on is gonna hurt like hell if I get hit. This is why I need more damage so I can kill shit faster. Because it, it, there's a little too many of them around me. That's what I need. More of that range damage. I've got some attack speed here. Get another one of you. I can see now. How is it? Yeah, 200% of your material. Okay. And it's still working at weight 20, so. Even though if you go infinite, it won't work anymore after you complete a way 20. So what you really want to do is just spend everything on round 19, unless you need to spend right now. Like if you're struggling now, of course you should not hold off around 19 because you probably won't reach 
all the way to 19 if you're already struggling. What I generally do is, if I see something on the main screen that I like, it's like, okay, then I'll buy it, but I won't refresh the store in order to get something else. But then also what you should do is really... Don't, actually, no, when I think of it, you should have spent everything on round 19. Spend in between, like, maybe 17, 18, 19. Because the more you refresh, the more it's going to cost you to refresh. You're going to spend hundreds and hundreds on just refreshing the store, and that's... I feel like a waste, honestly. Fuck it, I take that. Take some more luck. Take more damage. Do I have any form of regeneration? I don't think so. Oh, ho, 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 say less, my friend. Say less. I'll buy that. Combine. No, yeah. There we go. I'm, one of those two. I'm basically broke now. But hey, I got a mad machine gun. This game really makes me want to get back into Risk of Rain again. I really should be doing that. I haven't played that game in ages now, honestly. Uh, crit. Damage. Give me that damage. Oh, can I get that tree? Alright, No, thank you, to be honest. There you go, some of that. Take one of those. Starting to get some decent damage, I'll say. Like, this, this isn't overly amazing, but it's definitely something. And I take something.
I really wish they had like a setting for those who play with the mouse. Because I, I don't use my keyboard to control it. As you might have noticed, I'm using my mouse. But sometimes I lose my mouse in all this chaos. It would be really good if there was something that like highlights the mouse. Be moving in dodging over here, bro. Some rain. The legendary minigun, say less. Starting to become rich, bro. Alright, that started getting a little scary to be honest. Even with the damage, but it's only shitty ass damage that I'm getting. You know what? Sell you, buy you, take one of you. As long as I move and dodge, I should be fine killing the boss. I don't think I will struggle too much. Glass cannon, I got one of you. And then I just gotta spend the rest right after this wave and there we go. Alright, here we go. 
Um, range damage. You are. Why do I get this now? All right, there we go. This is what I got now. Yeah, you are dying, buddy. You are done. The boy's running. Get your ass back here, boy. There you go. Go on, hit. Play, we're fine. All right, we've got a new character as well. All right, this for my final stats. Only 14 range damage, but I fell 141% more damage. Then I had a bunch of crit. All right, well, that's it for Potato this time. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Why not check down on another video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.